Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick next baseball video on the slick fielding shortstop Jose Iglesias and Alex Colome, one of the best relief pitchers left still on the board, agreeing to deals both with the Colorado Rockies as the Rockies look to add more great fielding. You obviously need the good fielding at Coors Field, and they add in a great shortstop in Jose Iglesias, a good slick fielder who continues to be valuable at one-year deals, especially in the field, and if he can hit in the 250s or up, is very valuable overall of a player for a team as he continues to get locked up on one-year deals, Jose Iglesias does. And then when it comes to Alex Colome, Alex Colome has just consistently in his career <clears throat> been one of the more consistent relief pitchers in Major League Baseball for his career with almost 400 games. He has a 311 ERA, just like I commented how good Steve Ciszek's been consistent through his career. Colomay's been consistent throughout his career, just in about half the games, but has still been very good in his career and has very solid closing experience as well. This guy is a very good addition for the Colorado Rockies, and so is Jose Iglesias, because obviously we all know this season, I don't think most Rockies fans are going into this season thinking this is their year. Obviously, every team goes in with World Series aspirations at the beginning of the year, but teams also know, everybody knows really who is the World Series intending teams and who are the teams that we know are going to be bottom, and the and the Rockies are likely to get another good pick next year, but these are perfect guys assigned for rebuilding teams because you have now Colome in there and you have Iglesias who you're able to bring in, and both of them, um, if you want to move on from them, you're going to definitely be able to get good assets for them because one's one of the best relief pitchers in baseball and one's a very good cheap shortstop that's able to really pick it with the best of them and also... Uh, hit usually in somewhere in the 250s, where if even if he hits lower, he's a great field and shortstop. But I think him playing in the mile high where the where it's thinner air, he's going to be a better gap hitter to be able to get those balls to fly into the gaps for doubles. So I think Iglesias will have at least a 255 or something hitting season in Colorado. Plus, Ellis Colome will continue to use his cutter very effectively um, in that stadium. And that he's going to be a guy that jams guys, so it doesn't really worry me about him being at the age of 33 in Coors Field, because he's a guy that really jams hitters well and uh, really gets it in on their hands with his cutter and, and then is able to mix in his four-seamer to be able to get it past guys. So I, that really doesn't worry me whatsoever. A great pickup on both ends when it comes to the Colorado Rockies. They're a rebuilding team that got two guys that they'll be able to use as trade bait. Or if they're somehow a surprise team, uh, because they do got... Some interesting young players like the Brandon Rogers of the world, uh, to name one. And they also, of course, have in the rotation like the Sanzatellas of the world and the German Marquezes of the world who are very interesting to watch, plus Ryan McMahon. But they would have to be a surprise team to be a contender this year. So I think Colome and Iglesias are both good pickups in terms of trade bait. Great job by the Colorado Rockies. They would have to give them honestly A's on these moves, which is very smart moves for a rebuilding team. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe. And please continue to subscribe down below for more MLB, NHL, NFL, and some NBA news as well.